sublimation, the process by which solids are transformed directly to the vapor state without passing through the liquid phase. Any pure substance can exist in three phases. It can be a solid, a liquid or a gas. We can show these phases using a temperature pressure diagram called the PT diagram. This graph shows the location of the different phases of a pure substance in relation to pressure and temperature with pressure P on the vertical axis and the temperature T on the horizontal axis. The three phases are separated from each other by so-called separation lines. We have the sublimation line which divides the solid and the vapor phase. The sublimation line ends at the triple point which is the point where all three phases coexist. There is a melting line between the solid and the liquid phase and the vaporization line between the liquid and the gaseous phase. The vaporization line ends in the critical point. Sublimation occurs when the substance crosses the sublimation line from here to here. The other way round, the desublimation or deposition happens when the substance goes from the vapor phase directly into the solid phase. Let's turn from theory to practice. We are going to turn solid iodine directly into gas and then reverse it back from gas to solid without the iodine ever being in a liquid state. We will use a heating plate, a beaker, a watch glass, ice cubes and some solid iodine. But remember, iodine both in solid and gaseous phase can be toxic. To handle iodine you need both goggles and gloves. You also need a fume hut to ventilate and prevent a high concentration of gaseous iodine in the room. We put just a few teaspoons of solid iodine into the beaker. The watch glass then goes on top of the beaker and we place some ice cubes onto the watch glass in order to keep it cold. We are ready to start applying heat. This will accelerate the process of sublimation and make it more visible. The experiment starts at one atmosphere, which is the general air pressure around us, and at room temperature, which is about 22 degrees Celsius. The temperature rises and the purple gas starts to appear. This means that sublimation is occurring. The gas rises upwards and when it meets the cold surface of the watch glass, it causes the temperature of the gas to decrease again. Crystals then form on the bottom of the watch glass as the iodine crosses back over the sublimation line into its solid phase. This is deposition. Our experiment lasted only a matter of minutes but in that time a thick layer of crystals were deposited onto the watch glass. Sublimation is for example used by chemists to purify compounds and in freezers to avoid ice formation. It also happens naturally on the planet Mars. When CO2 ice on the planet's surface warms up in spring, it sublimates from the solid to vapor phase. Then during the Martian winter, CO2 is deposited on the dipolar caps once again as a solid.